In this video, I'm going to talk about the line of best fit, which is often a line that people add to a scatter plot. So let me make a scatter plot with this education and earnings per day data set. Go into Graphs Legacy Dialogues and Scatter Dot Simple Scatter Define. And education is the predictive variable, so it goes on the x axis. Earnings per day onto the y axis, that's the variable I'm trying to predict. Click OK. And here is the scatter plot. And if I want to add the line of best fit, I got to double click on it and then click on Add Fit Line Up Total. And that is actually going to add the line of best fit. Now, I'll point out here briefly is that the process in SPSS automatically inputs the regression equation. So y equals 13.98, which is the intercept, plus 7.61, the unstandardized slope, times x any value of education. I'm going to get rid of that for a minute, but I'll come back to it later. I'm also going to get rid of this r squared. And so what I mentioned in the textbook is that this line, the line of best fit, yes, it represents the slope. So we can see it going upwardly. So it's an upward positive relationship. A negative correlation would be associated with a negative slope. So the line would be going down this way in a negative correlation. Whereas in this case, it's a positive correlation or a positive slope. Now, the line of best fit is called such because this line represents the point at which you can minimize at best possible the squared residuals between the values in the data file and the line. So this is really quite a distant residual going on here. And if I squared that, that would be quite a large value. Yes. But look at all these other values here. Those are quite close to the line. And these ones are about medium distance over here. So what the line of best fit is, is the line that minimizes the distances between each data point and the line itself. So theoretically, you cannot find a straight line that will minimize any more than what's been accomplished here with respect to the distance between each case and the line. So that's why they call it the line of best fit. So how does anyone calculate such a thing? Well, it's actually based on the regression equation which we saw earlier when I actually inputted the line of best fit, you saw the regression equation. Well, that is how it's actually calculated. So let me show you how this line of best fit is calculated. Go into Analyze, Regression, Linear. And we're going to run the regression again. We've done it many times now. And I'm going to save the unstandardized predicted values. Those are the values that I would predict with the regression equation. Click Continue. Click OK. So. SPSS has created a variable and the regression equation with the intercept of 13.976 and the unstandardized slope of 7.609. Each case's predicted value has been estimated and what I could do is I could create a scatter plot using education as the x-axis variable and the predicted y variable as the y-axis variable and that is actually going to produce for me the actual line of best fit. So education, take that out. I should have left education in. So education in the x-axis and unstandardized predicted value on the y-axis. Click OK. And here is the actual slope. Now it looks very different. Let me get rid of this stuff here so I can see them a little bit closer to each other. It looks a, a bit different because the axis is different. So over here I've got 75 to 175. I got 300 to 0. So let me change that. Let me change this to 300 to 0. 0. 300. I'm going to change the number format to, I think it's two decimal places in the first one. Close. So now you can see 0 to 300 and 5 to 25, 5 to 25. And to me, this looks like a very similar line. In terms of the slope, it's exactly the same thing. And you can see that if I ran with the intercept here, it would come under. And the intercept is over here for this analysis. And this is what the line of best fit is. So it's the line that produces the smallest distances between itself and the other data points. And it's actually calculated with the actual regression equation. 